Shout out to Darren McNeil because he sent me this article about this story that occurred last week involving this woman by the name of Nicole Herbert. I'm sorry, Holbert. That happened in Nashville, Tennessee, um, where she got into an encounter with this cop in which left the cop injured and she was left dead because a shootout did ensue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the audio for you because I can't play the video on here for sure. And you can actually hear the exchange. Okay, so y'all just heard that right there. So basically, what happened was this cop, uh, let me see if I can find his name. His name was Josh Baker. He um basically got a call or something like that, you know, to check out something suspicious going on with this uh car right here, with this woman in this car. Which, by the way, I found out the car is not even her car. It's actually registered in her boyfriend's name, who, when I read some other places, already had outstanding warrants to connected to this car. So that's probably why they had a call about this car was because of those outstanding warrants um, on his behalf. Cause I was wondering why I was seeing his picture next to hers. I was like, who was this guy? But it said that this is, um, this is her boyfriend's car. But anyway, he, you know, you know, he asks her some questions. She gets hysterical. Now she's standing there, she's smoking a cigarette, and she gets hysterical and she starts running. You can hear if y'all seen the video, y'all already know the play by play. He chases her around the car with the taser and she starts screaming and everything. I saying I didn't do anything. Now the thing is they said that there was marijuana and a powdery substance in the car. And that was what they were looking for, was basically for drugs. And she became hysterical. She got in the car. He ends up tasing her. Um, he goes to the taser first instead of the gun, like we see in most cases, and he tases her. And then it seemingly it looks like she's stunned, but she reach she has enough strength to reach for her gun to pull it out, and then she shoots at the cop, and that's when he falls to the ground. But he shoots back at her, so basically they're shooting each other at the same time. And then she puts the car into drive, and she shifts gears, and she drives off, as you can hear. Now, what you didn't see that happened off the camera is that her car with her in it was found in a ditch. That's because um, she was killed from those shots that he fired at her while she was sitting in the car when she was firing, when they were shooting um, each other. And so now she's dead. He's still alive. He um, just had some injuries from when she, um, when she shot him. And uh, he ended up killing her uh, because they basically were having a shootout with each other. Now, many people are you know, sitting here saying, like, okay, who was in the wrong? Who was in the right? That's like the biggest question as it looms or it lingers over this whole situation um, right here. And, of course, you know, several are going to say or several are saying that she was definitely in the wrong. And that he was only, you know, following the protocol. And I'm going to have to be 100% and completely honest. Based on what I saw with this video, I hate to say it, but I can't even be biased. This woman was actually in the wrong. Now, hear me out when I actually, you know, say this. This is one of the few times where if she actually did what she was supposed to do, she would have lived. 
and I'm being honest. I'm being 100% honest because the um the cop based on the footage that I saw, he wasn't even being aggressive with her. She made it a scene when she started to run around her car and scream hysterically in that parking lot. They were in a the parking lot of a um of a of a Dollar General. He didn't even come at her aggressively. He didn't even have his taser out. She just started yelling and running around hysterically to cause a scene. And then that's what caused him to pull his taser out because she hopped in the car and tried to drive off. Like she's running with her, I guess her purse in her hand and like stuff is falling out of her purse and she's dropping everything. Like she just made a scene for no reason. I don't even think she, had, if you look at this picture, I don't even think she had her shoes on. So she basically made a scene uh, f um, for any, for nothing. Now, there's something coming out from the mother of this woman saying that she doesn't believe that the cop actually got shot. She believes that all the shots that were fired came strictly from her, um, strictly from, I'm sorry, from his gun into her. Well, all they would have to do is do forensics and detect what kind of bullets were in were that hit him if they can detect that those bullets came from her gun then yes she did shoot him now many people are saying oh well palm color you know they can get away with stuff like this and everything and you're right you are <laughs> you're most definitely right and i'll be one of the first people to call that crap out but in this situation i truly believe this could have went a whole different way if she didn't start acting hysterical. I know she was probably scared in that moment because she already knew the element of what it is when it comes to police activity and everything like that. But the fact of the matter is, is when she started to act the way in the way that she did, she completely messed up her chances. And the thing is, he tased her to calm her down and she reached and pulled for like reached for that gun. And I was like, why did you reach for that gun? Like, I would just like. That's where she messed up. That's exactly where she messed up. Also, I also further found out that. Um, remember when I was telling you about the drugs? Apparently there was drugs in her purse. Apparently there was drugs in her purse. And that's what they were trying to search. And that's why she got hysterical and she got scared. That's what that's pretty much where it all stemmed from. Like all of that stuff, like really led up really to uh, this point right here. And she ate that taser. She ate that taser. Like you saw the taser didn't had no impact on her whatsoever. And that happens, you know, like it depends, you know, if a person is of a certain size of a certain weight, then it'll take a little bit more joltage to really actually tase the person and actually for the taser to take effect on that on said person. Like, for instance, her. And like I said, I'm going to be completely honest. She really actually did bring this on herself. And I don't say that often. But I have to be honest. She did. Like, that could have all really been prevented. But I think with the outstanding warrants that the car had attached to her boyfriend, the drugs that was most likely that was found in her purse, and now this gun, the gun sent it over the edge. The, that's what did it but now she's dead because she you know like i said they found her car in the dishes matter of fact let me pause it right quick here's a picture of her car of, well, of her boyfriend's car when they found it there it is right there and that's probably after um that may be after they got her out or maybe she's still in there i'm not sure but as you can see the door is open like when she drove off you can tell she was injured because the door wasn't closed she literally drove off with the door still wide open so you can tell she can tell that she did not get very far. Like, look at where she ended up in a ditch. But yeah, it's um, it's a crazy situation. I don't know what the comments are going to look like for this video based on my take of this story right here. But, you know, I'm prepared for it if people feel that my assessment of this was wrong. But I just have to be completely honest here. And she completely messed up her case right there. Like, if she was to survive this. I could see the court or whatever judge she would have to be in front of definitely giving her time in jail for sure. 
But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video.